We're both in the shot. You ready for WrestleMania 2021, brother? Listen, on this side of the corner, you're gonna see Jerry, the one with the new bike. What are you gonna say to them, brother? WrestleMania, man. WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> in the video guys today we're gonna give you guys a nice little treat it's something that's jerry had for a little while i mean the title already says it all but you no know, what's behind us but jerry got a new bike again and again and again and again i think ever since i met you you've got like five new bikes right it, it was this one it was the road king it was the night train the v-rod the v-rod and then it was it and I, yeah, I had the Indian one. Hey, you had the Indian too, so I, yeah, I had the Indian in the street car. I, I want to make all the money this guy's making, so I could get a brand new bike every other month. Look as who's well. talking! <laughs> <laughs> 2021. All right. all right. Without further ado, guys, we're gonna show you guys Jerry's. What well, you want to do? Introduction to your new bike. Okay, so we've been talking about this for months, literally months. About I'm what, a fan. I'm a fan. When it comes out, if it's the greatest thing since sliced bread, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> You know, you know this. If it's got rider modes, it's got everything I want. LED lighting. It's got 150 horsepower. Yes. yes. And it, it's phenomenal. Yes. So I got a 2021 Pan America. Oh. This is the bike that, like Jerry was saying, we sat in this garage and we made countless videos on it, talking about it since the beginning. Um, and since the beginning, we we're both fans of it. And Jerry said several times, well, if it has this, if it has that, if it has this, I get it. And he kind of wanted it from the beginning. So congratulations on your amazing purchase. Um, yeah, take it, take it away. Tell us what, what, what this bike is and what it has. So it's a 2021 Pan America Special. The special has a bunch of different stuff. It's like $1,500 more than the standard, but it comes with the adaptive uh, 10 light LED light that has the lean angle. So when you, as you lean, it lights up the road. The more you lean, the more it lights up. The only problem with that is people think you're flashing on the high beams when you're into a turn and your whole, all your lights come on and it lights up the road in front of you, but it is great at night. It comes with the crash bars. The special comes with a skid plate. The standard has a plastic cover down here. And then they also make an optional skid plate that goes all the way across the back to protect the whole bottom. Comes with a center stand on it, which the standard doesn't have. And then it also has, it doesn't have this, you can get an option of adaptive ride height or spoked wheels with $1,000 for the uh, adaptive ride height or $500 for the spoked wheels. I don't have those options, but it does have, the special has the uh, automatic suspension. You can set it for auto and it automatically adjusts. It'll, uh, you can set it for rider or rider with passenger or a rider passenger with cargo. So as you load the bike, it'll adjust the suspension in the front. The standard has regular, um, what you call it, manual adjustments with the knobs. This has actual wires going to everything which adjust it. The special also has a steering dampener, which is Olin's. Um, it also has the um, heated grips and the hand guards which the standard doesn't have. All right, now, as far as, because you told me the bike runs really hot when you're in traffic, uh, how, how are you doing with that? During the summer, yeah, you'll feel it. What happens is the bike, it's liquid cold, it runs up like 212, 220 degrees. You get in traffic, the fans kick on and it's blowing right on your legs. So it's- So what do you say it's, it runs hotter than a Milwaukee 8? 
I don't know. I don't. This thing has so many things on it. I could see what's going on. Like the Milwaukee. I don't know what the temperature is on my Milwaukee. Eight. But as, as far as like feeling it, when the fan kicks on, it blows on your leg. So yeah, you feel the heat. Okay. But in the winter time, it's probably fantastic. Yeah. Because you're gonna be. It's gonna. It's gonna run cooler and it's gonna blow the hot air on you or whatever. But I mean, this is what I use as a commuter bike now. I was using my Street Glide. And then I'm like, why would I? I could tell. Yeah, it's, dirt. <laughs> it's got the Newark dirt on it. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I got, what was it, seven inches of travel, front and rear, or whatever. So I hit a pothole and I don't even feel it. Whereas I have upgraded suspension on my street glide and I still feel the bumps when I hit it. Yeah. Now, what I'll say about this bike, because I've tried to try. get on it. Try. <laughs> uh, I, I can't. So I'm sorry, for us shorter riders, this bike, unless you get the bike that comes with the adaptive, uh, ride with adapted, uh, high right, you won't be able to ride it. Because I literally can't even tippy toe the bike. I can't. Like, with sneakers, I can't. With boots, I might be able to tippy toe it. But without, I'm literally like, just yeah I'm, I'm like like i'm on a horse basically yes it's really it's really really tall um even i have trouble i'm six three yeah and i'm wearing sneakers and i can't back it in this garage because when i hit the dip my feet are like i'm like dangling yeah yeah, yeah. when it's i'm wearing really my boots i flat foot when i'm on my when my sneakers i'm kind of tippy toeing a little i don't know what the suspension set at if there's a way to manually adjust it down I have to look into that. There's so much tech on this bike. I, I know there, there's, you, you can like dampen it. Where... Yeah, I could bring it down. I'd low, I'd love to lose ground clearance, but I still have plenty. What are like your favorite things about this bike so far? So far, I've been breaking in, so I really haven't gone over. They said don't go over like 6,500. It's got like a 9,500 RPM. RPMs. Yeah. I mean, a couple times I've gotten over that, but the the bike in road mode is fast. When I put it in sh in sport mode, oh my God, I, you get up to like 100, you can't even you blink. Like I thought my V-Rod was fast and I've had sport bikes before and everything, but this thing is fast and yeah. it handles fantastic. It's it's like a sport bike, but like jacked up. That's so you have like plenty of clearance right. and everything. It's not really like a dirt bike. It's more like a sport bike that's like comfortable. I have a question for you. I'm pretty sure it's a question that everybody's wondering right now. Will you be taking this bike off road? Probably not. Why? You just not into that stuff, or because it's twenty thousand dollars, I don't want to drop on the ground. Yeah, but you got crash bars on it and everything. Yeah, you're still gonna do damage. It was sketchy. I was we were in a parking lot with rocks, and it was sketchy. Yeah. But the off road, the modes work because when I put it in off road mode, it kicks it back. You don't. It's um, yeah. it's it's kind of like I, I wanted to ask you that question for a special reason as well, just because it's th this is an adventure bike. This bike is literally made for off roading, off -roading. right? And this but, is our argument. We but have. here is this man who purchased a bike, but is not gonna go off roading. But the main reason he bought it is because you could let's say that well let's not say you really love harley davidson yes you love the brand right yes. and that's probably the reason why you 35th got harley davidson i have owned because you all right you you, you could have gotten a gs which we went to see yes i touch drove a gs we have yeah yeah so you, you GS. got a gs so you could have you could have got a ktm but you decided to get the harley davidson pan america which is yes. pretty awesome um i gotta say this bike in person if you haven't seen it in person looks amazing like i said i've been a fan of this bike from the design from the beginning uh the powertrain is amazing yes uh it's it looks beautiful the capability of it you know just having a daily commuter mm -hmm. or going off-roading whatever it is like it i think this bike is made for everything and i think they knocked it out the park man harley davidson did an amazing job yeah. so good job Harley. everything man. we asked for led lights Rider modes and the price was right. And the price is right, yeah. I mean, the price is right. The price is right. Finally, no more live wire debacle. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, they, they did a good job. Right? Yeah, a really yeah. good job. I mean, I was waiting to wait and try to sports the rest, but I think the sports the rest is suited for somebody more Marvel kid size. And with two inches of travel, I don't think it's the bike for me. I mean, sports the rest, here I come. Yeah, possibly. Um. Also, uh, this bike didn't come with the spoke wheels, it came with the mag wheels. Yeah, so they, like I said, that was an option, $500 option for the spoke wheels, which I would have gotten, uh, but they, this was all they had available, and, and the Harley dealers, they're only getting like four Pan Americas per dealership, depending on the size of the dealership, and there's no more 2021s to be had. Once the dealers have all the bikes, that's pretty much it for the year. So originally, this is the way I pre-ordered the bike when I ordered it back in, what was it, March when they first came out or whatever? 
And then we kept having discussions. Well, he's like, you know, Marvel Kid's like, what do you need an ADV bike if you're not going to go off road? It doesn't make any sense. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, maybe I should cancel it. Maybe I should wait. So I test drove this at the dealer when it came in in May, uh, orange one. Then I, I didn't like it because it was set up for sh uh, shorter riders. So the seat was all the way down, the pegs were all the way up. And it was, I was felt cramped. So I was like, eh, I'm not, it's not my thing or whatever. Then I gave it another shot. I was out in Pennsylvania and I went to a dealership in Pennsylvania and they let me take it out for a longer ride. And I like really liked it a lot. I was like in love. And then this bike was at uh, Garden State Harley Davidson on the floor and it was on the display and somebody wanted to ride it. So the salesman is like Marble Kid size. So he was having trouble getting it off the display. So I'm like, do you want me to help you? And he's like, no, he goes, I got it, but you can get the door. So I ran down to open the door at the bottom of the ramp and then he's yelling from the top of the ramp. He's like, I can't do it, I can't do it. So I ran back up and I jumped on the bike and I rode it out of the showroom. And then the other person who was test driving was maybe like an inch or two taller. But since the bike was sacked down, uh, strapped down, he was able to get on it. But when he was outside, he couldn't get on. He goes, I can't ride this bike, it's too high. So the salesman said, do me a favor, ride it around the building, bring it back inside. So I rode it around the building, brought it back inside. I went home and I'm like, I'm gonna buy this bike. And I called him up on the phone and bought the bike over the phone. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I and I couldn't even believe it when you yeah. sent the text. Yeah, like, you, you, you thought I was, I, I, I bought Paul, the Pan America. Like, <laughs> Fuck you! You went to fucking Pan America. He goes, look. He sent me the picture. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. Um, how's the seat? Because the seat looks, um, it, it seems very comfortable. It it's, is very comfortable. It's not bad. Like, it's high. It's definitely high, yeah, but as it's far not as, bad. Like, comfort wise. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking about getting the Corbin came out with a seat, but I don't think I'm going to change it. I think I'm going to stick with it for now. Corbin seat, TBR pipe, FXR. Definitely got to do a pipe. That's the one thing. <laughs> that's the one thing. This bike is so quiet. When I come up on people, they want to like, they almost turn into my lane because they can't hear me. No, but it actually has a nice sound though. It does have a nice sound yeah, when it has you're a on. Really nice sound. Yeah, when you're in the RPM range and anything above four thousand RPMs, it it moves. Yeah, I, I, it definitely has a nice sound. I, I, you're gonna have to get your Kiss shoes out, and because you know you're a big Kiss fan, you got to get the Kiss platform shoes out and take it for a ride. You might not be able to shift too good, but I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much everything. I mean, if you have any questions or whatever, the bags Drop on this Drop the thing... comments down below. Jerry's going to be answering them. I'm not, so yeah. yeah. I'll answer them in the comment section. Yeah. Accessories for this bike. Back order, back order, back order, back order. I mean, everything on Harley did. Everything on Harley did, but especially for the Pan America because they didn't uh, foresee the popularity of all these bikes. So they didn't make enough accessories. I have the tank pads. I just picked them up today. It took two weeks to get. The bags that go on the back here, either the sport bags, which just clip on, or the, the big panners, the silver ones or the black I ones. Like, I like this though. Yeah, I'll get to that yeah, in a I second. Know. But the pad, the bags are back ordered till December. And that's a maybe. And that's $2,000 for the side bags and the top bag or whatever. You're gonna so, get it. Huh? You're gonna get it. I don't know, I think I'm gonna, I'm thinking to wait. Cause what happens is it makes the bike so much bulkier and I, I just got room in my garage finally cause I had four bikes and now I have three. So I have room. Hey, Harley Davidson, you want to sponsor the video? Yeah. Send Jerry some cool bags yeah, so and we can make some cool content with these bags. Huh? Huh? Harley Davidson? I mean, why don't you try getting on the back of the bike? Like, right, bitch? Yeah, just get, get on. Let's see. We'll see. I'll, I'll get it. Yeah, get up there. Over like a horse. Now get all the way back. There you go. Well, we can, I can ride bitch with you, man. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> see, I can't even get my leg over the bike. This is how bad it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is how bad it is. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. That's it. It's funny. You can fit. Hey, man. Yo, you, hey, yo if you guys want to see a video of this going down, like, drop me yeah, talk. <laughs> I, I, for the video, I think I might do it. I might write bitch. But this is what uh, this is the what, issue. Yeah. What I would look like. Like right now, since it's slant, I'm basically standing it up, basically like one footing it. That's yeah, it. It's like on a dirt bike, but I, I literally can't lift it up. And it, it is not even heavy. It's a really light bike. Like it feels really light. 550 pounds. That, surprisingly, like you would think this bike will be more. It looks bulky and heavy, but it's not. No, it's really light. And I'm, but I just can't, I, I, I can't stand it up. I'm too short. Yeah, amazing, man. Love it. Congratulations, Jerry. This is probably my favorite bike that you have. Really? Yeah, man. This is this you, is. You told me you wanted me to to put in my will. He wanted me to put in my will that if when I pass away, I give him the street line. I I got That's fucked up that you would say that. Dude. Yeah, that's what you fucked up never, that you said that. I would never say that. <laughs> I want this bike now. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna be it. Um, if you guys have any questions or thoughts down below, or if you want to congratulate this guy, I'm gonna put his Instagram down below and also in the comments, you can let him know. Um, amazing bike, huge fan of it. Hopefully, I get some big top shoes like Kiss shoes. I can get to ride this bike soon enough. And um, yeah, we're gonna be making some future content with this bike, um, some nice little rides here and there. So, if that's the type of content you're into, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, subscribe, hit that bell button. By the way, thank you so much. We hit 20K on the channel. Congratulations. Ta da. Listen, I worked hard for that shit. So, I actually received a comment today, which I'm gonna post it up right here real quick. I mean, it's probably the nicest comment, the realest comment I received. Um, so, you guys can read it right here, but it's like, I literally worked to get to this point, and my channel is nowhere near to where I want it to be. But I worked for this. It wasn't like somebody shouted me out or got famous or something, and then my channel blew up. I've literally been working at this for a few years already, and it's like I'm consistent and consistent and consistent. So we're gonna keep working hard to bring you guys some amazing content. I'm super happy. I'm super happy for you for having this bike and getting what you want. And congratulations and, on your channel. And I'm on Google Ad as well. So yo, yo, we do big things. Yeah, this year, man. Yeah. What, were you drying your, your... What? You drying no, because I'm sweating like crazy. It's hot as hell in here. This man's got to get an air conditioner. That's where you actually got to get a GoFundMe for an air conditioner. You guys want to you saw a GoFundMe for an AC. <laughs> but in 2022, bigger things. Sturgis. Yeah, uh, Sturgis. We're, we're going out there next year, so tune in for that. Like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.